today we are going to show how to pack a backpack. We have two different setups here. Sophia has a smaller pack and I have a little bit bigger. And uh, we're going to go through what's inside and a little bit uh, thinking why we pack them the way we have done it. One of the few general rules that apply to packing your backpack is that you really would want to have center of gravity quite high up in your pack and close to your, your back. Um, that means that um, you will have a less uh, of a pivot on your backpack. If, if I have my heavy load far out, it will be like that and that is uncomfortable. If I have it close to my back, it's like easy to carry and less strain to all joints on my back. I like to keep my bag quite clean. Yeah. I don't know about you. Do you like to put things uh, outside, like water uh, bottles and stuff? Or That's how my pack looks uh, today. And uh, I, I don't like my backpack to look like a Christmas tree. Okay, in my pack uh, I have two uh, pockets on my hip belt and uh, in one pocket here um, I have my snacks for the day. I have some uh, beef snacks, I have some uh, peanuts and uh, I have some dried mango, that's my personal favorite. And on the other side here I have uh, my foldable cup. Very convenient if you're gonna get served coffee. You don't wanna be naked, right? Also easy access on my shoulder strap. I have hung my um, water bottle. Staying hydrated is, is of course super relevant. Okay, then we have also these compressible pockets on the side here. Uh, they are big enough to fit the water bottle if I would want to have the water bottle there. But uh, here I have uh, some other small items that I want to have easy access. Here's actually my trash bag. So I can both pick up litter that I find on the trail and also host uh, everything that I produce myself. And then I have a water bag. In this uh, side pocket here I stash my uh, rain cover for the backpack. So that's of course relevant to bring if you're out on a multi-day trip because uh, you don't want the whole backpack to get soaking wet if you get caught in, in a prolonged rain. On the side I have attached a trekking pole. This one is possible to make longer of course. Okay, uh, also easy access in the top pocket here. I have my toilet paper and uh, here is also my map and my compass. Even though I have a phone with a map and the GPS and everything, the physical map is hard to replace if you get uh, caught with uh, no battery and uh, need to navigate with uh, traditional skills. Now we can have a look uh, at the front. This big pocket hosts what I need for uh, a little bit longer break maybe. So. Uh, here I have a water filter, so if I need to get fresh water that I want to filter. I have my meal, the lunch for the day, and my uh, cooker. Here's also the fire steels if I need that for the cooker. And uh, I managed to stash away uh, something to sit on, which could be nice. All right. At the top here I have a headlamp. And I also have access to a gas canister extra if I need that uh, during the hike. My first aid kit, also easy access if I need that. At the top here also in this pack bag is my uh, waterproof rain gear. And this pack bag contains uh, my spare food for the rest of the trip. Here are my base camp shoes. At the outer side here is my insulation jacket. And uh, now pretty much at the center of the back, a bit up, uh, I have managed to put in the tent. 
this is a three-person tent so if you're our two-person it's quite uh, spacious and if you're on your own it's really luxurious I'd say uh, so this is a three-person tent um, but I put it in here just to show that it actually fits for e myself to carry everything in this pack and um, I normally take out the poles for the tent and keep them separately it makes packing the tent much easier Yes, and at the bottom of the backpack I have a watertight bag um, and in here I have put everything that I really want to keep dry and the essential things here are of course the sleeping bag, the sleeping mat and my spare clothes that I have in a separate pack bag in here. And this is everything that I have in my bag. Today I'm carrying a slightly smaller backpack than the one that Kalle has. This is uh, 38 liters and I can do that since Kalle is actually carrying the tent and the cooker. So I don't need that much space in my backpack. But even so I still have space for my sleeping bag, my sleeping mat, some extra clothing, uh, a jacket and also uh, my, my rain gear. And apart from Kalle, remember he put his rain gear in the bag, in a waterproof uh, separate bag. I like to put it outside in the outer pocket. So this is actually where I keep my rain gear. And here I also keep some gloves and uh, a beanie um, and the gears that I would like to have uh, easy access to when I trick. Here I also keep my first aid kit. And I like to tell my friends that I'm trekking with that I put it outside here uh, in case of emergency so that everyone knows where it is. Since also Kalle is carrying the tent um, and the cooker, I have some space for my camera which I keep in a waterproof bag. I also have the important toilet paper and also a rain cover in case the weather goes bad. I like to keep uh, my pack clean so nothing hanging around. Um, the only thing that I have outside is the water bottle but this I keep in a elastic bag so, so I have it in place. I also like to keep some snacks in my side pockets or in the hip pockets. So today I keep some nuts and some other small chocolate snacks that I have. And I also have some wet wipes in my hip pockets. So as you saw, there are many different ways to pack your backpack and I think it's really important to find your own way. So try out your gear and find the way that suits you. And as you saw as well, that we shared some of the stuff among us. Yeah, I mean, I think what's really nice when you're out a group or more than one person is that you can actually divide heavy loads or the gear that you need to bring between the people. That can also vary over the day or over a whole trek that somebody get injured or get tired and then you can repack and transfer loads to people that are stronger at the moment. Um, what is important also I think to remember is if you can keep center of gravity in the pack pretty high up and close to your backbone so that you don't get the pivot and uh, uh, uncomfortable strain on your shoulders and back uh, with no reason at all really. I hope we've given you some inspiration to get out on the trails. So uh, with that said uh, we hope to find you out on the trails many times in the future. See you guys! Thank <music> you.